Good morning. Happy Tuesday. See if you want to say hi. Say happy Tuesday. She's very interested what's going on over there, but nothing's going on. Sit. Hey. Good girl. Say hi. Look. Look. Look at mama. Look. Hey. Look. Hey. Say hi. Sit. Stay. Look, mama. Look. Look. Good girl. Thank you. What a pretty girl. All right, heel. <clears throat> I just put that collar on her to make her look badass. No. She actually does amazing. Um, I'll share another video with you of her healing with no leash at all on. But I like to put this on because she's 11 months and she's still a puppy in training. And, uh, you know, Rottweilers, their necks are very strong. Their pain tolerance is very high. Um, so when the need to tug on a leash happens, I don't want to tug on her whole neck. It's a nice, quick, gentle reminder of, hey, pay attention. Yes. Uh, so, good morning. I have my hat on so you can't see my messy morning here like you did yesterday um so I was wrong about the temperature yesterday I was in mass I said it was what I say maybe 45 I got home from that walk and it was 37 degrees on the thermometer at home so it was probably 35 degrees but where I'm from Maine it felt pretty good you can see the Sun wanting to rise Today is a little bit darker. We're gonna have rain around 6 p.m. here. So I traveled home yesterday, up back to where I live. So I probably have bags under my eyes. Didn't even wash my face. Um, so January 3rd, going for a walk first thing in the morning, trying to stay consistent. And it's good for her, who has lots of energy. Um, might do another workout later. I'm going to be beginning, beginning a workout program coming up here. But, um, because I'm going a little bit slower today. Yeah, I'll let you watch her run around. You want to run around? Ready? Sit. Stay. I'm going to take this little... S and M thing off. Stay. Stay. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I'm free. She's free. Where's your stick? Go get a stick. Go get a stick. Good girl, that's a big stick. You want a good stick, huh? I know. You're like, um, I don't see anything good, Ma. Hey, what about this honking huge one? This isn't even a good stick, but it'll amuse her for a second. Ready? Do you want it? Ready? Set? Go! Good girl. That's a powerful dog. And when she does get up to speed, it's impressive. Um, I don't know exactly how much she weighs right now. Her birthday is January 19th. Oh my God, that's right. That's crazy. So she's 11 and a half months. And she's probably, I don't know how much she weighs. Honestly, I don't. I'm going to say 85 pounds. I got to weigh her soon. Um, 
she still has a lot of filling out to do so she's got more growing to do for sure I can tell she still is looks like a puppy these dogs really don't mature until about two years old so but she's already towering over my two other dogs my adult dogs Yep. I might continue walking in a second. I guess I used an excuse to. I'm a little bit slow going this morning, but at least I'm getting the fresh air. Fresh air, get out of the house, go through the motions, even if I'm not super hyped up. At least I'm out moving. Mobility. Fluidity. Getting the joints, the synovial fluid, the cerebrospinal fluid, the lymphatic system, getting it all moving. The respiratory system, getting it moving a little bit, getting some fresh air. A little bit goes a long way. So some of you, I challenge you to 10 minutes, go outside and walk for 10 minutes. I'm going to be checking in on some of you. Okay, some of you have the excuse of rain. Okay, I, 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 I heard that in your head. You're like, it's raining. Okay. Well, maybe walk in place for two minutes. Uh, knee ups for a minute. Walk in place. For two minutes um, stretch up windmills or something like that for a minute take some deep breaths for a minute slow in slow out it's important to so breathe in through the nose for a count of ten or if you if that's too much do seven but you get to breathe in really slow like not a quick because then you're not gonna be able to do it for seven seconds but out the mouth for seven or ten I think it's easier to prolong the exhale than it is the inhale prolonging the inhale takes practice So let's see if I can snap my fingers and I can count while I'm doing it. So I'm going to start with the exhale. I think it's important to start with the exhale to get all the breath out so you can actually take a longer inhale. So let's just start. I won't even snap for the exhale. Now I'm going to do inhale. I did like a seven count on that. I could have done 10 count exhale. But on the inhale, when you get to the top of your inhale and you can't inhale anymore, hold that. Like almost like you're holding your breath. And what happens is it expands your lungs. And that's working on the intercostal muscles in between the rib cage, um, which in the long term helps with your breathing because when your, your intercostal muscles are strong, they assist in the process of breathing in and out. Um, so down the road when you get sick and you cough, your coughs are going to be more effective. Uh, when you try to breathe in deeply, your rib cage actually assists you in the process. Now let's try it again. Let's breathe completely out. Now we're going to breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. I did that for 10. <laughs> so, you know, it's funny because I'm not walking right now. So it's like, oh, I'm not getting a cardiovascular workout. Well, this breathing is working on the cardiopulmonary system. It's an aerobic activity. Aerobic activity is about oxygen exchange. So, all right, we're going to do this one more time. Because I think three times taking a break for, you know, a minute 
maybe do another three times that's enough and then you can do this later in the day maybe in the afternoon and then once not right before bed because I feel like it's gonna be energizing but maybe about an hour before bed so three times a day this really long term I mean with all the masks that we were wearing and the sicknesses that we've experienced this is very beneficial so let's try this again so breathe out completely I'm gonna breathe in through the nose hold it exhale there you go congratulations you just got through your first breathing exercise with Nicole <laughs> I know a lot of them because between being a singer and doing um, I was a certified yoga teacher back in 2007 um, but not that that matters it was a personal interest I took in breathing because of singing and you know it really took a toll on me I got um, I got the uh, virus I won't say the name in case there's an algorithm here listening um, a few times I think my immune system was down because I had been on antibiotics uh, several times in the course of the um, pandemic uh, due to um, other things and um, I think that destroyed my immune system I think that was primarily it um, I'll just go with that for now my immune system is really good now praise God I haven't been on antibiotics in uh, at this point well I say that but last December when I had COVID really bad oops I said the word um, I was put on azithromycin so I actually was on it um, but that so it's a year ago but I've done I mean I do all kinds of uh, things to help my microbiome probiotics uh, detox I even did a parasitic cleanse. I've done a lot since then, so. But, all right, well, work on those breathing exercises. Rewind and try it, I'm telling you. You might even feel a little lightheaded in the head. I mean, you don't need drugs when you're breathing deeply. I'll tell you what. All right, I'm gonna get back to walking in a second here. But God bless you, God bless your day. And get to it, do something positive. Anything, God knows we all need it. Bye-bye.